Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and it's a beautiful day to show you how to create this whimsical tree and the great maker show and tell. There's just something about trees, whether they're pine trees, apple trees, or family trees. And this cute tree will be a great addition to any decor. It has such a whimsical look that it would be cute displayed just as is, but I added some seasonal paper ornaments that dress it up as well. And this tree would make a great stand-in for a Christmas tree if you want something a little different too, but it would also look cute in the spring with summer flowers and hearts like this one over here. Or how about turning it into a family tree with everyone's names on it? What a great gift idea that would be, huh? Okay, so to make this tree, you're gonna want a strong material. You can use wood, acrylic, heavy chipboard, or craft board, depending on how you plan to cut it. Now, if you have a laser cutting machine like a Glowforge, go for a draft board, a pretty wood, or acrylic in one eighth inch thickness, like this one. If you have a Cricut cutting machine and the knife blade, you can cut heavy chipboard, just like this here. And Cricut Explore users are gonna to want to opt for the craft board version. And you'll wanna cut multiple layers to give it strength and then glue them together with tacky glue. You're also gonna want some cardstock to make your ornaments, plus some transparent jewelry cord to hang them, but you could also use string or twine instead. And that's it. Now you just need the pattern for the tree. You will find my free tree designs and nine ornament templates over on my blog. So let me show you where to find the designs and then I'll show you how to cut and assemble your tree. Step one, get the designs. Download the free tree and ornament designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com 259. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 259 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting out a Cricut or another cutting machine, including a Glowforge laser cutting machine, as well as a PDF for cutting by hand. You can cut this tree from multiple layers of craft board on a Cricut Explorer, from chipboard on a Cricut Maker, and from wood or acrylic on a Glowforge laser cutting machine. Step two, cut the tree design. Let me show you how to cut this fun tree on a Cricut Maker cutting machine. First, upload the SVG file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. You are going to want the 16th inch version of this file if you're cutting it on a maker. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com slash SVGS. Once you have uploaded the designs into Cricut Design Space, ungroup the design. I recommend you cut the tree first, so I suggest you hide all of the ornaments for now. You can do this by selecting each ornament individually and then click on the eye icon next to the selection, or you can select them all at once, click group, then click on the eye icon to hide them all. Now you just want to click make it. Verify that you have two mats with your two tree parts. Yes, you need both parts and then click continue. Click browse all materials and choose heavy chipboard. So a couple of things you should know before you cut heavy chipboard. First, Cricut recommends that you open the chipboard package and lay it flat for 24 hours to acclimate the material to your climate before you cut it. If your chipboard starts to warp, place it under a heavy object. Second, this project takes a little more than two hours to cut the two trees on the Cricut Maker, so just be prepared. Now to show you how easy this is to do, my design elf will assemble this project while I talk you through it. Okay, so if you're still raring to go with this project, and I promise it is worth it, place the chipboard on the purple Cricut Strong Grip mat. Use a brayer to create a firm bond between the material and your mat. You want it stuck on there really well. Now tape all four edges of the chipboard to the mat within one inch of the corner. I recommend masking tape or painter's tape. Now 
Now move the white star wheels on your Cricut Maker all the way to the right to avoid making any kind of indentation in your chipboard. Load the mat with your chipboard tape to it into your Cricut Maker and click the flashing button to begin to cut. And then settle in for a long winter's nap. <laughs> Seriously, no, no, just kidding. Don't go take a nap. <laughs> The Cricut Maker's default setting is to make 24 passes when cutting heavy chipboard. The machine will make multiple passes while increasing the pressure with each pass. I recommend you check on your cut frequently. Sometimes you may get little pieces that are no longer held down by the mat. If that happens, just use the pause button on your machine. Remove the pieces. You know, so that you're not like they're not getting in the way or you're getting stuck under your blade or anything like that. You may also want to pause your machine from time to time to check on the blade just to make sure it's free of any debris. Do not eject the mat. Once the pieces are removed, resume the cut. Just push that uh, go button again. I recommend that you keep an eye on your maker as it cuts, as it may be done in as little as 18 passes. To check, just pause your machine. That means just click the little button that has the two vertical lines on it. That's the pause button. Lift up a corner of your chipboard and see if it's cut all the way through yet or not. Now, if you're making this tree on another cutting machine like the Explorer, the craft board version of the 3D tree may require multiple layers glued together for stability depending on your preference. Uh, you can use the Cricut craft board as your material. Um, however, you can experiment with other types of cardboard that you may have on hand. Three sheets of craft board for each tree piece uh, will should work really well and you wanna cut them and then glue them after you've cut them, just to be clear and you just need to use the fine point blade and housing for that. Now, if you're making this tree on the Glowforge laser cutter, you're gonna to want to use the eighth inch SVG that's in the uh, file that you downloaded um, if you're using eighth inch thick material like acrylic or wood. That's what I use for my acrylic tree. So once you've cut the two tree pieces, go back to Cricut Design Space, select the paper ornaments that you want to decorate your tree with, and cut them from any color cardstock that you want. You can change the color of a layer by selecting the ornament and then clicking on the color box at the top of the window. Once you have a group of ornaments selected and colored the way you want, you can duplicate the entire group by clicking and dragging around all of those ornaments to select them, and then click Duplicate to make additional copies. Step 3. Put up your tree. Putting your tree up is as simple as sliding the two tree pieces together. If only our actual Christmas trees were this easy to put up. So the tree that has the slit in the bottom of the tree slides easily into the other tree piece. You may want to hot glue the two pieces together, but if you want to be able to take the tree apart for storage and have them lay flat, don't glue them. They should stay together and stand up all by themselves without glue. Hanging your paper ornaments is really easy as well. You can use something like thread or a clear stretchy cord to hang your ornaments. You could also use twine or string, ornament hooks, thin ribbon, whatever works for you. I think the clear cord looks the best and is easiest to use. Just thread the cord through the hole in the ornament, tie a knot in the cord, and you're ready to hang the ornament. Step four, show it off. Enjoy your super cute, whimsical tree, decorated or undecorated. It's so fun either way. Your imagination is the limit here. Isn't this tree just so adorable and really pretty easy to make? The biggest trick is probably cutting the chipboard. Just remember to keep an eye on your cutting machine as it works in case you need to clear debris or remove it early. Feel free to paint your tree with acrylic paint or spray paint if you wish. Here I have painted uh, this, the tree with silver paint, which I think looks really festive. If you've got any questions about how to cut acrylic or wood on a Glowforge or how to cut chipboard or craftboard on a Cricut, I want to help. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, which is full of awesome ideas from people who love to craft. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win your own Cricut at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway.
And that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to make your own paper pine cones. For real. They're so cool. Remember, I'm always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>